All right, so as you can tell, I <laughs> just showered. And after I shower, you know, warm, hot shower, I always have a weird craving. Oh, I guess it's not weird, it's just the timing isn't always right. Because right now it's evening. Or sorry, not evening, it's <laughs> very late. It's <sighs> almost 15 minutes until it's going to be 11 o'clock, a.k.a. the time is 22.44. So it's fairly late, especially for a shower, let alone a budget coffee from Hofer. H-O-F-E-R. Um, this is one of their budget options. Cost me around 50 cents, uh, you know, 54 to 65 cents, somewhere around that range. So not a lot for a nice coffee, um, especially compared to how expensive Starbucks is. That's, that's already two euros for, you know, a cap and it's Starbucks. But this isn't Starbucks, this is... The Coffee Experts Barismo. At least I'm guessing Coffee Experts is part of the name, or that's just their slogan. But as you can see, the name is Bar Barismo. My bad. Barissimo? Barismo? I'm not sure. <laughs> it's a latte macchiato with a 2 out of 4, given on the strength rating. It's a chilled coffee to go. 250 milliliters. And it's. What is this? Rainforest Alliance, people and nature. That's pretty cool. And it's got a nutrient rating of a B out of A, which is actually pretty good. Some of their coffees do go down to like a D, some are a C. I think I've seen some with E though, but I'm not sure because there's only three, maybe four options of all these coffees. I've never seen one with an A before, so there's that. But it is a cheap coffee with 0.6% fat milk parts, uh, partly, I don't know. Um, it's without lactose. So <laughs> if you don't, if you're lactose intolerant, you're going to love this thing then. <laughs> um, I mean, personally, uh, things without lactose uh, usually end up being sweeter because they add sugar in it and sweeteners, you know, to try and balance the taste. Usually ends up being more sweet than something with lactose. But, you know, even uh, an older person might prefer this over something, you know, or a similar coffee with lactose in it because digestion problems. You know, if you drink, if you drink a ton of milk, same problem. It'll make you go kaboom. <laughs> okay, so looking at the back here. I can't read. <laughs> uh, doesn't say anything about the caffeine right away. Does say, ah, 46 milligrams of caffeine per 100 milligrams. So, hold on, let me do math. I'm not good at math. Give me, give me like a moment. 92 milligrams per 200, so 46 divided by 2, that's 23, we had 96, so that's 119 milligrams of caffeine. Did I do that right? Yeah, I think I did it right. Okay, um, enough blabbering, let's get on to the taste. Oh, completely missed this part. It does say it's without lactose on the front. You don't need to go searching on the back. So that's actually really neat. Um, yeah, let's try it. Uh, I like drinking these personally. Uh, <laughs> I'm saying a lot of uh because this is unscripted. Probably on this. I like these coffees because they're cheap and <laughs> affordable. They're really affordable, actually. Actually. <laughs> yeah, they're actually they're actually really affordable and they taste more like coffee than Starbucks. So yeah, that's pretty crazy. <laughs> it smells like uh, you know the coffee beans. 
like it was made with coffee beans. Oh yeah, that tastes like coffee. <laughs> that tastes like coffee, all right? It's got a nice beans flavor to it, which I really like. You know, coffee beans. Um, it, it, you know, I like it because it reminds me of my trip to the Netherlands I had two years ago. You know, there I had, uh, there was this uh, coffee machine at the hotel, which uh, on the last day I drank a bunch of coffee there and a lot of pancakes. And that coffee taste has never really left me. Whenever I drink this type of coffee that tastes like that one, brings me back, you know, simpler times. Okay, this sounds goofy, but it's it's good. You know, it tastes good. It reminds me of good times. Let's say that. Um, it, it's, it's real good. This is like the more cold version of the coffee I had in the hotel because, you know, it's a machine that makes warm coffee, not iced coffee. Oh. Another place that does uh, also really good coffee, it reminds me of the one in the Netherlands, is McDonald's. I think they're latte macchiato, if I remember correctly. I don't know. I'll, I'll have to... I have to find out later, but uh, this is great. Mm. Oh, sorry, <laughs> it's really good. Uh, it's good that it broke off like this, even though that's not intentional. Uh, it's a good thing because, yeah, if it tilted like this, smaller chance of it spilling, I guess. So, there's a positive on that. It, it, this is actually the first time it's ripped, though. Maybe it's shy on camera, I guess. But, uh, tastes good. Looks good. And I like the packaging all being, you know, fully plastic. Turtles. Animals. Anti-plastic activists. Don't hunt me down for this. But I prefer this design over, like, plastic shell paper marketing whatever thingy over it oh wait this is a brand justin hofer probably because it's got the hofer logo on it <laughs> well i say hofer really weird in english but uh yeah it's delicious <laughs> okay uh enough drinking coffee uh now i get to say thank you for watching I'm going to try to make more videos. This, as you can tell, was pretty rushed. Um, but yeah. Uh, stay positive. Don't drink too much caffeine. You know, you can get caffeine from other sources. Just don't drink too much. Um, and as always, stay healthy. It's not always, but that should be my phrase. Stay healthy. <sighs>